Hello, oh, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be doing a 2022 Senate prediction. Um, by the way, yesterday I did not upload. I had a, I had like homework to do, and it was gonna be pretty low, pretty late by the time I like would be done uploading. It was already kind of late. Um, hopefully, by, by the way, also I won't be uploading, or I might not be uploading Saturday and Sunday. I have like a lot of stuff to do. Um, like I'll be like out of town. Um. Fingers crossed, though, I do, like, pre-record. I've been, like, swamped for, like, the last week or so. Um, hopefully after, like, Thanksgiving, I should, like, have less work. Um, so fingers crossed we can get through, like, this next week or so and be fine. Um, the more kind of likely states, I'm gonna give them Colorado, and I'm gonna give Vermont safe. I'm gonna probably talk more about the situation in Vermont. Uh, hopefully for tomorrow's video, fingers crossed. Um... Colorado, I think that Bennett is not great for Hispanic and Latino voters, and I think that 2022 will probably be a fairly, fa fairly favorable year for Republicans in the suburbs, um, with Biden's unpopularity. For Republicans, like they say, they get Alaska, Florida, and Ohio. Alaska, um, it's kind of weird with the ranked choice. At the end of the day, a Republican would probably win that. Um, I'm not, like, sure about, like, the margins of, like, ranked choice or whatever, but a Republican will win, um, obviously, so I'm, I'm gonna do it likely. Florida, um, Marco Rubio is insanely strong for Florida. Val Demings is a fairly strong general election candidate, but she's not great in Florida. Um, I've discussed this before. Um, but Rubio is just he he's he's just really really strong, and it's also gonna be a red wave. Um, Ohio, I think that Tim Ryan is actually a solid candidate. I think he's pretty strong with the white working class, and I think he's um decent with the black vote. But I think that. At the end of the day, um, whoever ends up winning the GOP primary, I haven't checked the polls. I always, I never check the polls on that race, and I'm kind of sad, um, that I don't. I, I, like, now that I said, I feel like I, like, should, in, like, every video, I'm like, oh, I didn't check the polls, and I just never end up checking the polls. Um, which is probably something that I should do, like, I should, like, I don't know, I feel like it's, like, a recurring thing, like, a lot of the time I actually, like, look at polls for, like, other stuff or whatever. And, like, I keep up with, like, stuff. But whatever reason, with the Ohio Republican primary, I just don't keep up with the polls. It's so weird. But let me, let me, let me go find them. Um, I'm literally just scrolling through my phone. Um, I think at the end of the day, like, I don't, regardless who, regardless of who wins, um, I think that they probably carry the state. Where are the polls? Okay, here we go. Um, where is the key? What? This poll is so weird. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, most of these have Josh Mandel winning, yeah. I think that Mandel is a very strong candidate. I think he's very strong with the white rule vote, and he might be able to do well enough with the white working class, which could hurt Tim Ryan. Um... For the Democrats, lean states, I don't know if they have... Actually, no, New Hampshire now. Um, without Chris and you running, I think New Hampshire's probably lean -D. I saw somewhere, I don't even know if this was, like, bait. I think it was, like, an actual, like, legit account, though. So, I would imagine that it's probably not bait. But somebody said something along the lines of, like, John Sununu, um, considering running. And that, if, if John Sununu runs, this is probably... Going back in the Republican column, maybe likely, maybe lean. Um, I would imagine probably somewhere around there. Um, as of uh, or like as as of like right now, I'm gonna give this to um Hassan. I think that she's a fairly strong candidate. Like Sununu is like really really strong, but I think she's like strong enough. Um, just obviously would lose against Sununu, who is obviously not running. Um, for the Republicans lean states, they get Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. Um, Wisconsin, I think that, um, Johnson does well enough with white rural voters. I think that, especially gives Biden some popularity, he does well enough in the suburbs. Um, I think that, at, at the end of the day, with Biden some popularity, no matter how strong, um, Mandela Barnes is with the white working class, um, Johnson still does well enough, especially with Biden's popularity. I don't think he's a horrible candidate for the white working class. I think Mandela is probably a stronger candidate, but I would imagine that Johnson does um, 
does better with the white working class. Ohio, or Ohio, Pennsylvania. Um, I think that, I mean, like, I, I also haven't been keeping up with the polls so much. I mean, keeping up with this race a bit more, um, which is a good thing. I think that, regardless of who the GOP candidate is, both the Democratic, like, the two likeliest Democratic candidates are really bad candidates. Um, here, let me, let me make sure to find this. I think both the candid Democratic candidates are really bad candidates. I think that, um, Fetterman is fairly strong with the white working class, and he's pretty strong with white rural voters, um, but he's not, like, terribly strong with, he's not, he's not terribly strong with, um, let me take a look at these polls, yeah, he's not terribly strong with the black, actually he's weak, I would say, and, um, Connor Lamb is just like he he's he's meh for a lot of demographics, which is it's sort of his problem. Like he he he's very much like Joe Biden in terms of what he's what his strongest demographics are, but he's just weaker overall, and it's it's not like a it's it's not like a good thing for him. He's just not very strong. Like he's meh for the black vote. Like yeah. For the white working class, man, the suburbs, like, he's just not very good. Okay, it looks like Sean Parnell is winning, um, in the polls. I would imagine that he probably does win. North Carolina, um, I think that Ted Budd is actually a really strong candidate. I think he's really strong with white rural voters, um, especially with Trump campaigns in North Carolina. That probably helps him, but also Biden's unpopularity, I think, really helps him, um, Cherry Beasley, I think, is a fairly strong candidate for the black... Actually, a strong candidate. Yeah, a really strong candidate for the black vote. I've talked about this before. Um, I I don't think that it would necessarily happen at this point where, like, the Democratic Party's base just stops turning out for them, even for, like, candidates that are strong for the base because of Biden's unpopularity. I don't think that Biden's... I think Biden's unpopularity would, yes, like, take a hit for... I'm, I'm trying to uh, make a dent in her numbers, if that makes any sense. I was trying to use an analogy with, like, a dent. I don't, I don't, I don't, don't, don't ask me. I am why, why was I so insistent on making such a random analogy? Um, but, um, I think that her numbers are going to take a hit. There we go. We finally got an analogy that works. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough of a hit that it, like, seriously affects the race, but I think if Biden gets super, suit like, even more unpopular, it could get to a point where no matter how strong a candidate is, voters just don't want to turn out. Um, or at least voters that would previously have voted for them. Um, I think as of right now, Beasley does well enough, though. Um, for the Democrats, Tilt State, they get Georgia. Republicans get Nevada and Arizona. Nevada, um, I think that Laxel is not a very good candidate. CCM is a decent candidate, but it's competitive enough, and Biden's so unpopular. And there's gonna be enough anti. There's gonna be enough anti-Biden white rural turnout that Laxel wins. I don't think there's gonna be. I, I doubt that there will be much enthusiasm among Democrats. I think there's gonna be um, a lot of Republicans turning out to vote. Um, end of the day, I think this is very narrow, but it does go to Laxel. Arizona, this is a more secure one. I think. I think Brnovich is a pretty strong candidate. Um, so I'm going to give Arizona to the GOP. I think it's pretty strong with, um, traditional conservatives. So we're going to already probably vote for the GOP, um, given Biden's unpopularity. Georgia, I think that Warnock is strong enough with the black vote. I don't think that Biden is at a point yet where his unpopularity, um, is going to, like, I, I don't think that as of right now, I don't think that his unpopularity is at a point where it'll be enough to stop um, a lot of the base from turning out, and I think Warnock is a really, really strong candidate for the black vote, um, which definitely helps him, um, for now, I'm gonna give it to him till maybe lean, I, I could see, I could see, I could see an argument for lean, I could see an argument for tilt R, I'm gonna give it tilt D, though, um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like below, stay tuned for my next video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, 
Please comment your suggestions down below, and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!